Hello, I'm Maria Titizian for CivilNet. We are on Istiklal. It is April 24, 2014, the 99th anniversary of the Armenian Genocide. Hundreds of Turks, Kurds, Armenians have gathered here to honor the victims of what took place almost a century ago. <laughs> Approaching to the 100th uh, anniversary, uh, we feel the uh, responsibility and the heaviness uh, of uh, the commemoration. Uh, therefore, uh, it gives a something a stronger uh, and more profound uh, feeling, feeling of solidarity. Uh, and we are now uh, having this commemoration in a very specific uh, political uh, context in Turkey. Uh, as you know, uh, Prime Minister made a statement uh, yesterday. Uh, on the other hand, uh, why we are uh, meeting here and not in the square uh, is also uh, uh, reflects another problem. Uh, the government uh, bans uh, Taksim Square uh, for the uh, political rallies and they are going to ban a uh, May Day rally to take place in Taksim Square. So these show that the uh, uh, democracy and freedom of uh, assembly, freedom of expression uh, still face a number of serious problems in Turkey. You know, the event was marked by the declaration of the Prime Minister Erdogan. Uh, he made a kind of overture. It was taken very differently all around the world, in the diaspora as well as in Turkey. It was not unimportant. Let me put it that way. He also presented his condolences to uh, the grandchildren of the victims. This has also a meaning for the devout people in Turkey. In that sense, it was important. One. Two, I think by uh, indirectly uh, accepting that people in Turkey and elsewhere may also talk about genocide. But this has a very important consequence. It means that the government, although having a very uh, authoritarian you know, pattern uh, recently might continue to allow the memory travails and the memory works in this country and this is the good news. Otherwise the rest is just, you know, re repetition of what his foreign minister was saying the last two, three years about the shared memory and the shared pain and this sort of things. People living in Turkey, Turkish, Kurdish, or in general the Muslim, have a collective responsibility about what happened in 1915 and what continues to happen in the form of denial. So there is like a collective responsibility here and I think it's important to be here and politically and ethically defend that position and ask for justice for the Armenians. Well, that's why I'm here. It's like a duty. <laughs> Östis Türkiyo Hasaragutunu Metz Topogutun mu Gabri Ice Verchin Dasdasting 
darinerul întâțkin. Ev haigagan cegas banutian ais corzintas nal ai turemen popoxutian amenen magic ujerem mecne. Ais haseragutunu tur tur has has haseragutunu orma bide istibe ais perutian vorbesi jancina. Ies ait pes gahavadam. Ev ir varcha bedin gadarat hai hai haidarutunu istis ait mutnolor de hede sede bide ceva vore. Ais încă martic vorong Sadzer Tsainov Gehosein, Ailevus Pirescus în avili parța Tsain Hosil, Selovor de Sec, Varcebe de Ancam, Haidar Rutun Magadarec. Aio, ai Haidar Rutun, Pavarar ce? Ce s-a sfârșit să ia spanul tu în badaze, nerogutiun ce s-a sfârșit, badim vara, inspesoran tin că găsesc geacmă, haraciațut ăstis. Istanbul is um, uh, many people are uh, really involved in in planning for next year but we don't want it to stay with next year either so we hope that um, these events these conferences these meetings will continue um, a lot of research is also being conducted and I hope that uh, Uh, it's being shared by uh, the Armenian community in the diaspora as well as in Armenia, um, what we are doing here. Um, so I really don't want to speculate, but I can say I'm optimistic. So I think the government will continue to let the society uh, to heal to itself, to heal the country and to continue the healthy work of, uh, of, of memory, both good and bad.